Welcome everyone. We'll start by marking two inches on the side. That two inches will join with a straight line. We'll join all the two inches marked points with a straight line. And that will be responsible for our sewing allowance, which will be added to the back piece of the sh shirt. So we'll be taking a one inch gap downwards, and that will be for our waistline because the waist of the front and the back piece will be of different height. They will go straight to the crotch depth. The crotch depth we'll be working with today is 12, but we'll be, cutting, we'll be marking 12 and a half instead because we'll be losing half inch on the waistline when we'll be joining the band. So after taking the crotch measurements, we'll also take the short length, and this is based on preference. For this, we'll be using 17 inches. So we'll be marking 17 inches. And after doing that, we'll be joining with a straight line. Note your your outcome will not actually be 17 inches. It will be as a result of the height of the band you are using. So we've also marked our bending allowance, and that was two inches. So I'll be extending all my lines. And after doing that, I'll be going straight to the measurements. So for our measurements, we'll be starting with our tie. Our tie is 24 inches, and I marked 12 and I'll put in a 1 inch extension there then I'll be going straight to the hip, the hip is 44 so I'll be marking a foot in an 11 inches mark all through from the waist to the hip and I'll be joining with a straight line from the waist to the hip so after that I'll be using a curve to join our extension to that straight line then after doing that I will be extending the tie measurement to the round length measurement and I'll be joining with a straight line also I'll be taking a half inch measurement downwards and that's as a result of your tummy you're not wanting your shorts to be above your tummy and I'll also be taking a half inch upwards for the back measurement of the waist and that will be for your bum bum and after that I'll go straight to the cutting process so what we'll be cutting out is actually the back piece and we'll be using the back piece to cut out the fabric before we cut out the front piece After cutting out the front piece, we'll be working on the pocket. The pocket depth is 8 inches. You make an 8 inches mark and you notch half inch. Then you also make a 3 inches mark on the slant. And from that, you can create a slant line that you use an interface to cover. Then after covering, you bend and use your pressing iron to give it a press. Then after doing that, you can also do it for the opposite piece of the front piece. And that's that. 13 by 15 or 16 inches will be what we'll be using for the pocket dimension so you can use 15 or 16 depending on what you for the pocket the first thing to do place the pocket and the fabric on the same line turn to the other side so you see clearly make a half inch notch at the 8 inches mark then you bend both the pocket and the fabric on the slant line and make a half inch stitch all through after stitching it that's what you get so you open it up like this and after opening it up you see the excesses inwards that is free or I would say loose. Then you bend by a quarter inch and top stitch on the edge on the pocket. You can see we've already top stitched the excesses on the pocket. Then you pick the pocket inward and stitch the downline. After stitching the downline you bring it outwards. So I'm bringing it outwards you can use whatever object you have to do that. I'll be using a scissors for this and after doing that I'll just use my hands to straighten out things then we top stitch both pocket and fabric material together at the top and also at the side after we finish making the pocket we'll join the front and the back piece together I will be doing that using a half inch sewing allowance.
like I said, we'll leave a gap at the middle when joining the band. A one inch gap. That hole will be where we'll be passing the rubber or rope or whatever we'll be using to make our waist a little bit tighter. So after opening it, we'll stitch on both sides to make it fair. Mm -hmm.